Good morning. Oh, look who's at the door. She hid under the coffee table when I pulled this out, play, playing a game. She didn't want to go for a walk, even though she is going to go for a walk. So I told her after a few minutes of trying to get her out from under the table so I could put this on, I told her I was going for a walk and I walked out the door. Let's see what happens when I go back in. Mm. Would you like to go for a walkie? Sit. Sit. Stay. Is it a little too chilly out here for just this? Yes, it is. Did I think to grab a coat? No, I did not. Because I was too busy trying to get my dog on a leash. The teenage boys came out from the house where the girls live and Penny got all excited. And she sat at the bottom of the driveway with her tail wagging waiting for them. I said, baby, they don't have treats. And one of them glanced at me. I said, well, you know, if you come out that door, she thinks you're supposed to have a treat. And he just nodded his head and I was like, yeah, teenagers. Teenagers, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I can't speak. I can just nod my head barely. I can only barely nod my head because I can't be seen speaking to anyone besides my friends. Ooh, ooh, what are they doing? They have a dump truck. <gasps> they have a dump truck. What are they doing? Gladys needs to know what's going on. What's going on, what's going on? They have cleared that property, which I used to call a coyote den because it was just, the whole lot was overgrown inside this fence. I never understood the reason for the fence because the only thing inside the fence was brush. They, the, I, I don't know if the house sold or if the, I think, it, I think the guy rents it, but perhaps he's going to build another house to rent because that seems to be the way of the world these days. Build a home and rent it out to people who can't buy homes. She's like, what kind of noise is you making? <laughs> well, she gave them the look, didn't she? That was almost a Shirley look. Are they making too much noise, baby? She's like, make that noise one more time. One more time. All full of attitude. Anyway, their rent's more than a mortgage, but they can't buy a house, so. What do you do, right? Am I right? Well, I chose this. Oh, that doesn't match. <laughs> I chose this because it's cold, obviously. It's like, I mean, it's not cold, but it's kind of cold. 49, but it's gonna be 65. So it's kind of like a in-between thing, I think, right? I don't know. I'll be back. Now then, let's go to work. Is everyone off tomorrow who works, who's not already fully retired, is everyone off? I know the retail business is not off, not closed, but we are closed. I'm so excited. But I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday who worked at the sheriff's office and she said, it always blows my mind when people would call in and they wouldn't know that it was a holiday. So the whole county would close, except law enforcement agencies, of course. You can't close a jail, you know. You can't really close warrant division because somebody has to be there to monitor the warrants, the GCIC system and all that. So they would call and say, well, I've been trying to call magistrate court magistration court and I nobody's answering the phone and I would say well that's because it's a holiday and they were like what holiday good Friday which with the way the world is today with all the I always feel like Seinfeld um, Kramer when I do that with all the, the craziness in the world I'm surprised we're still allowed to take 
Good Friday as a holiday because you know it's it's religious holiday. Mm. But anyway, I would be like, it's Good Friday, and they were like, what does that mean? Oh, you know, it's the day that Jesus was crucified for your sins. You know, Jesus, the Son of God, he was crucified for your sins on the Good Friday. Why do they call it good? Because Sunday's coming. That's why they call it good, because Sunday's a coming. And he rises from the grave. I think I could be a good pastor, don't you think? He rises from the grave like a phoenix. Not really. <laughs> you shouldn't joke about such things. Well, you know what? I'm not joking about such things. I'm just funny. So, I guess that will be the end of video one and two to come. Two is to come. Part two is to come. Stay tuned for more Tracy Tries. Are you mad? <laughs> Jealous. Okay, now it's part two and I'm still in the car on the way to work. <laughs> okay, so can we talk about some conspiracy theories that are going on right now? Can we? Why am I doing that? I don't know. Well, if you saw the movie, Leave the World Behind, you know, we've already talked about that last year when I watched it. Was that already last year? I guess it was. Seems like it was just last week. But anyway, it's got Julia Roberts in it and it's on Netflix. And it's very weird, okay? It's just a very weird movie. However, I was listening to someone on the YouTube yesterday and they mentioned the movie and in the movie a ship crashes upon the shore right okay and he compared it to a ship crashing into the Francis Scott Key Bridge Francis Key Scott Francis Scott Key ah. Why am I getting that twisted up in my brain? The bridge. Mm, I don't know. My mind won't tell me which one is correct. So I'm just going to say the bridge. The ship crashed into the bridge. And he was like, isn't it a quinky dink? And I'm like, is it a quinky dink? I don't know. I saw this morning on a post that those big container ships like that do not lose the ability to steer when the ship loses power. Uh, say what? Uh, I'm sorry, say what? Like I said, these are all conspiracy theories, so I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there to give y'all something to chew on, okay? We can discuss it. We can discuss what we think in the comments or whatever. Just keep it kind, okay? Because I'm not in the mood for your silliness. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, and then what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, in the movie, there was an eclipse. What's coming April 8th, but an eclipse? Mmm. Mmm. What's going on? What's going on? Mmm. 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 And did I mention that Barack Obama wrote the script for that movie or helped write the script for that movie? Isn't that a little odd? I mean, I didn't know he was a writer. I'm not saying anything about Barack Obama, okay? Don't get your panties all in a wad. I'm just saying he wrote the movie. I'm not saying he's tied to any conspiracy theories, so calm down, okay? I'm just saying it's a little odd that he wrote this movie that's kind of weird, and, and, and we have an eclipse coming, and, uh... Oh, can I get by? Oh, they're, uh, mm. 
Oh, I guess I can. Or, is the power out? Please tell me the power's not out. Oh, they're trimming limbs. I was like, oh my goshes. Please tell me I didn't come to the office and the power's out. But no, he's trimming limbs around the power pole. Well, anyway, I'm at work, but yeah. What do y'all think about those conspiracy theories? I'll be back. Now then, it's 2.52. I am off work and I am on the way to the bank to make the deposit and then I'm going home. But <laughs> I just wanted to tell y'all that all my visits to Chick-fil-A have finally paid off. Not only in the poundage that I have gained because of Chick-fil-A, <laughs> but <laughs> I earned enough points that one of our meals was free today because Lisa and I take turns buying lunch and it was my turn to buy. Well, because I have the app downloaded, I, I get all the points for us, right? And um, I had 2,500 points that I got a whole entire meal for free. Yeah, ain't that something? Ain't that worth going to Chick-fil-A for? For is for a free meal, yeah. I mean, it probably took me a year to build them points. Not really, I just started using the app not too long ago. So, I don't know. But, like I said, once a week at least, I'm buying both of our meals. Well, once a week, if we go there. I'm buying both of our meals, so that's even added points. And then sometimes I'm buying Jones meal, and that's added points. But I have slowed down considerably on going to the Chick-fil-A, even though I still have an addiction to their lemonade. And Lisa is still not happy with me that I have turned her on to the lemonade because now she has the lemonade addiction. Yes, we might need therapy for our lemonade addiction. Oh, I just spit. <laughs> You'd be all right if you didn't spit. Well, you know, we can't all be perfect, okay? I told y'all this lieutenant told my mom, well, told me that in front of my mom, because I was talking to him and spittle flew from my mouth and he said, you know what, you'd be all right if you didn't spit. And my mom busted out laughing and I was like, that's not funny. <laughs> that is not funny, don't laugh at him. Please do not encourage him, okay? Well, that's gonna be the end of part two. Toodles, my noodles. Hey, part three. <laughs> I'm still sitting in the same place where I was when I ended part two, which was in the turn lane to go to the bank. Did y'all ever go to a friend's house growing up and eat dinner? And when you sat down to eat, you were like, what is this? I don't know what it is. Well, the only thing different at Linda's house that I ever encountered was her mom cooked uh, livers. Chicken livers, I think. I think they were chicken livers. And I mean, I'm, I'm all up for trying new food. And I tried it and I was like, <laughs> what am I eating? <laughs> it's got a very weird texture to it that I do not like. Yes, please stand by, I'm at the bank. Uh, anyway, yeah, chicken livers, it's not the taste. I don't remember, I, I think they tasted okay, but it's the texture. There's something about them that that I did not uh, like. Mm -mm, no. I don't think I've ever tried beef livers. But when I used to go to Kelly and Carrie's house, her mom made fried eggplant. That was very outside the norm for me. And I was like, what is this? What, do you, what, do you, what is this? And they were like, it's eggplant. And I was like, what's an eggplant? My mama don't cook no eggplant. And why is it called eggplant? 
they were like, I don't know why is it called an eggplant, but it looks like this. And I was like, it's purple. I tried it and I liked it because it kind of tastes like squash. But I had never eaten an eggplant before because my mama didn't cook fancy stuff like eggplant. But then I learned about eggplant parmesan and I really like it. And then I learned how to cook it myself. I wonder if I could make some eggplant parmesan. Hmm. They make Parmesan cheese in the dairy-free section. The only thing is the panko. I need to find gluten-free panko. Yeah, that, that was my eating uh, at friend's house. And then eating at Kim's house, my first Kim. The only thing I remember eating at her house was tacos, which is kind of funny because that's what my brothers called her, bull taco. I don't know why they called her bull taco, but that was her nickname from them for years, Bull Taco. But yeah, that's what I remember eating at her house was tacos and they were amazing. Isn't it funny what you remember? But I told y'all about that guy that I dated and I went to his house to eat uh, dinner and his mom cooked noodles like egg noodles in butter. I had never had egg noodles and I don't know that I've had them since. But I was like, what do I do with these? <laughs> he was like, what do you mean? What do you do with them? And I was like, well, I mean, I'm used to macaroni and cheese and I'm used to spaghetti because my mom didn't step outside the box of norm very often, okay? so what is it and he was like they're egg noodles what is it with the eggs what do i do with them he was like you eat them i said there's no sauce he said the butter is the sauce huh yeah yeah when i stepped outside the house of shirley i got to eat wild things like butter noodles i mean egg noodles and eggplant and i had chicken livers yeah, because my mom had a very limited uh, recipe book, uh, meal plan, yeah, fried chicken, meatloaf, hamburgers, uh, sauerkraut and weenies, <laughs> yeah, we didn't step outside the box very often, and if we had fried chicken, we had mashed potatoes, and biscuits and white gravy and like green beans that was yeah that was it well, I, I didn't know what an asparagus was i didn't know what um them little things are that taste like cabbages that i can't think of the name of right now brussels sprouts i didn't know what those were i yeah my mama didn't step outside the box shirley stayed in the box Oh, we had um, hamburger helper, but only the potato kind, you know, the, po the potato, I forgot what it's called, like the potatoes. Um, but then we stepped outside the box and we started eating the like hamburger macaroni stuff. That was fancy. It's like the best thing I ever had. And then my dad worked for the judge. He was a bailiff. And the judge cooked this chicken that was stuffed with broccoli, cheddar and broccoli. And when mama found out that came in a box and all she had to do was pop it in the oven, we started having that in the weekly rotation. Yeah, she wasn't adventurous in her cooking. I tried to be way more adventurous. I use all kinds of seasonings in my food. That was my diet growing up. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be the end of part three. Three. Or bird or part three. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because people will be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which, good Lord willing, will be tomorrow on Good Friday. Sunday's coming. Toodles, my noodles, and 
stay silly, my friends.